reside. Levy. Ah, oh, what up YouTube? It's me Riz Il coming to you live with another reaction and today we are doing a Gillian Keeves. Hold up. I'm sorry, I just ate a lot of ice cream for the first time in like... I haven't eaten ice cream in like 4 years, maybe 3 years. It's crazy what happens when you turn 20 and become broke, huh? <laughs> Okay, but anyways guys, uh, today yeah, we're doing uh, Gillian Keeves and this one is titled The Trump Hitler Sketch. And we're gonna check what it's all about. I hope this is the right one because I didn't get this off of the Gillian Keeves page actually. I got it from a, a random YouTube page. I hope this is the one. Without further ado, guys. We wanted to make a movie about Hitler, his rise to power, and then his inevitable demise. Studio loved it. The cast was set, and the script was incredible, but we couldn't find anybody in Hollywood that would play Hitler. Nobody wanted to do it. We looked everywhere, but no one wanted to risk their careers. But we did find one person. I'm Hitler! They didn't have anyone to play Hitler, so they called me, the studio called me, they said, Donald, could you please get us out of this? He sent me 27 voicemails. Hello, Lauren, this is Donald Trump, and I can be Hitler here. Watch. Bad Jews, not good. Lauren, it's Donald again. If I need to be naked in this, which Hitler was, he was naked quite a bit. I, I do have a guy as a replacement, he has a big piece. He took a perfectly good script. And he improv the whole thing. Look at the size of this crowd. We've got a lot of Jews here. I don't think he ever read the script. That guy right there, he's a Jew. No, I'm just gonna don't get him. We could do something about the Jews. I might not, but we could. We've got big trains, beautiful trains. We could. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Don't get him. <laughs> Oh. Get them on there, but I'm not gonna kill the Jews. I wanna work with them, is that so bad? I didn't like all the Jews stuff in the script. If I was to put anyone on a train, it would be Crooked Hillary. I wanted Hitler's failure as an artist to be part of his evil origin story. But then, you know, when I brought that to Trump, he said, Art is gay. Art is gay. Adolf Hitler was gay for doing art. I don't do art, I make money. We didn't realize how toxic it would be for the rest of the cast. It was the worst set I've ever been on, ever. We're gonna round up the Jews, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask them for some advice. We're gonna say, please help. We need your help with our economy. Right now our economy's low. We need it big. We need big economy. We need no, more no, Jews. No, no, no. Totally unprofessional. It was a comp, a struggle to get through anything. Uh, no, 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 no. We're doing a Holocaust. We're gonna kill Jews and Poles. Okay, cut. Eight months I trained for this role. Method acting as a Nazi. My wife traumatized in the bedroom. Do you have any idea the things that I've looked up on the internet? The things that I've said? I can no longer go into Einstein Brothers Bagels. He, he, got, he got rid of Eva Braun. And Hitler's girlfriend, I don't know if you've seen her, if you've seen pictures. Not good, she was a bit of a dog. Let me tell you something, I've got a new Ava Braun, and she's hot. Bring her out, Ava, come on. I had just got done eating a waitress's pussy at Buffalo Wild Wings, and I said, oh. wow, you should be Ava Braun. Look at her, look at her, am I right, people? I met her at my restaurant, Hitler's. I just opened it, you guys should stop by. He started a fake restaurant in a movie. <laughs> And then made a commercial for it. Wow, Hitler's, what a fine restaurant. We've got chicken wings and whores. What else is there? Don't attack dude. Instead, drink brews, that's what we say. Isn't that funny? This was my shining moment. I need the Holocaust. Oh, he said he liked the Holocaust. Not that I would need it to have happened. You I seem certainly... to be very eager for Holocaust, crybaby Goebbels. I'm not a crybaby. I'm not a crybaby. Joe, crybaby, crybaby Goebbels. Is a huge pussy. All he wants to do is a Holocaust. Can we get rid of this guy? I've got a couple people's numbers we could call The Rock. I 
that got fired. He wanted the movie to be, he never kills himself, he's good, and eventually he helps the U.S. defeat Japan. I said, fine. The United States called, they said, we like what you're doing here. They said, can you help us end this war with Japan? So I called Japan. I said, Hirohito, I said, you better slow down. He told me, we'll never surrender. That's how he, you know, we'll never surrender. I said, I bet you do. Sure enough, the next day, I bombed the shit out of him. He literally harnessed the sun and threw it at him. I mean, in Japan. Hey, 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 shout out to my Japanese people. Uh, the whole uh, Hiroshima, freaking Oppenheimer, like nuclear bomb situation. It was war, but it still wasn't. It wasn't cool, guys. It wasn't cool. I was in the moment. I'm sorry, but it wasn't cool. L- life generally, genuinely being ended in any shape or form, especially like that, is not cool. So I'm sorry to my... Japanese people that was that was a moment in history guys that was crazy and I'm sorry uh, let's let's continue we hit them with the sun and let me tell you they didn't like it they were running around maybe now they'll get their act together maybe they'll stop using swords and start building VCR what 2 a.m. I think Hitler should eventually become president of the U.S. because Truman begs him you know he would Truman was pussy LOL. My work here in Germany is done. I am taking the position of President Hitler of the United States. Thank you and good night, Nazi Germany. It was devastating. It was hard. As an artist, you write a movie, you think it's gonna it's gonna be impactful. Stop stop looking at the camera. And you know, he just took it and made a you know, made a movie that made so much money. I know. I was the best president. I was the best Hitler. We've got great wings, some of the best wings, medium, mild, hot, genocide. We've got sluts everywhere. I'm the best president Hitler. Uh, shame. That's the end of the, the video, but I think there was more actually. I should have got this from the Gillian Keeves, guys. I was in such a rush, bro. It's Christmas and I've just gonna be going non nonstop. Like there's no holiday for me. It's such a rush with everything. Even when I'm standing still, it's like panic. Um, what can I say about this? This is really dope, guys. And it actually made me think. I never ever thought of this, but it's something I would think of if it randomly came to my head. And it would be like something that I would like okay in terms of like a movie about Hitler. Hear me out, hear me out, let's let's not get to, oh, no, you know, uh, anti-Semitism, no, relax yourself, hear me out, hear me out, cancel culture people, not the ones who are actually cool, but like, cancel culture people, hear me out for one minute. There are biopics of people and of conquerors throughout history that we have done in the modern day that have been just as bad, if not worse, than Hitler. Calm down. Wait for it. It's just that with time, evil people in history become something of like a mytholo- mythological, like uh, mythological figures within history. They become the legend, the whatever, whatever. You got the Genghis Khans. Genghis Khan killed like ten percent of the world. Him nowadays, he's almost revered in ta- when people talk about him. And on top of that, like even in music, like especially rap, people love that whole um, Genghis Khan one two three four. But that dude, if you even like, if you if you research the history to his campaigns and how the Mongols genuinely like how how they engaged in warfare and the things that they did to their fellow man, bro, you'd you you wouldn't believe. Like you'd be questioning yourself: Should we really be celebrating this guy? Alexander the Great is the same. Alexander the Great, if you actually look at his history and if you take out the law and the whole, ah, uh, that dude was a savage. Like, I don't want to get into it because this video will, like, it'll keep on going, me telling you the whole story of uh, the stories of Alexander the Great, like, in, in, in continuity. But that dude was a savage. Julius, all of them. But nowadays, with time, I'm not saying they're, okay, some of them, yes, they're honored, but with time even the most evil 
are, are sort of looked at like damn this dude was crazy let's study him Ooh, i'm interested in his life one two three four and with time honestly i'm not advocating for it i'm just advocate no no wait i'm not advocating for it wait i'm trying to save myself <laughs> because you never know people can misconstrue your words i'm not advocating for it i'm just saying it would be interesting in terms of like especially me as a history buff to see a biopic like that and to see the the inside the 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 the, the inside nitty gritty the, the the details of hitler's life leading up to world war Two, and i wouldn't even want like a movie like this to be like his whole campaign against the jews and all of that i would want it to start from like his birth all the way to like his uh his early days in the nazi party after he participated in the war one two three four five you know he and then it would keep on going until he finally like the the nazi party like rose to power and then the movie would stop and then he'll be like this is what happened and then you'd see the whole mental like his mentality building up to it the things maybe he he went through the things that influenced his mindset why he was the way he was i'm not saying it would be 100 percent accurate especially with hollywood involved but it would give us a sort of like interesting take on it just like the oppenheimer movie i'd love for christopher nolan to do a movie on hitler i'm just this is not a kanye west moment guys like and i hate the way people miss okay Kanye, the way he puts some things, it's it's crazy, but people a lot of the time they misconstrue the way he says it. Fuck, I've dug myself into a hole. I keep, dude, I keep, I hate cancel culture, bro. I keep dodging fucking minds. Basically, guys, a a a, a, bi- a biopic with uh, like pertain- pertaining to Hitler would be very interesting, and I'd be interested to see it, like. Just like watching Scarface, honestly speaking, because Scarface, a lot of people like love rapping about Scarface or referencing Scarface. But Scarface, his actual character, if you really look at it with a clear mind, was a terrible human being. He's not someone to admire. Tony Montana is not someone to admire and say, I'm Tony Montana. That terrible human being. But the character, legendary, right? Hitler, I'm not even going to call him legendary. That's It's still a sensitive subject. World War II isn't so far back that we can just talk nonchalantly about Hitler, but very interesting. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notifications. And I hope you enjoyed me uh, shoulder rolling, uh, being cancelled or being what you call ostracized and blackballed in the near future. But you never know. Uh, <laughs> y'all take Okay. Passport and I got the stamp for my visa Back to the bleachers, wag she a diva Last fall I was on my ass, now I G'd up Wag nigga keep up